Hello everyone, I am here in Lisbon checking out this beautiful city and I have done a, a video on the Insta channel so do check that out for a little wonder I take into the main street. I'm here just outside this really quite large block of flats. You see here, we would call that, uh, I think in America they would say apartment, apartment block, but in uh, Britain, flats. Here is a no entry sign. And that's a taxi. So I'm gonna go back the way I came on my little wonder this morning. So this is the other way. If you watch the Insta channel, you see me come down it. Now I'm going up, up the slope. And it's, uh, it's quite tough tough on the calves that's what just cut got cut off there <sighs> getting a bit out of breath although I did do a workout this morning so I've I've got my my hours in in that video I checked out a door I'm gonna show you this door again cuz check out this knocker a little hand it's quite terrifying isn't it leave that alone Gar bags, handmade, 100% upcycled, locally produced. I like that, gar bags. It sounds like garbage, which I think is what they've done there. So instead of garbage, it's a bag. And the local shop, again, late night shop in English, which is a great thing about Lisbon. Everyone speaks English. Unfortunately, I need to learn Portuguese, so. It's a great thing because I can be lazy and I am quite lazy sometimes uh, but it's okay I'm gonna be I've said to my friends let's speak in Portuguese did that last night so and I'm back to where I live and doors open great security is tight here <sighs> so an update on the security issue where I live uh, the door is left open because it's broken. So yeah, trying to get in has been a bit of a nightmare sometimes, but that's why it's left open. Hopefully it'll be fixed. So I'm on a mission today. Um, when I was coming, packing my bag, uh, I wanted to bring my weights so I could do some exercise, but I had to give up on that idea because the bag wasn't big enough. It was only hand luggage, you see, so yeah. Um, anyway, I need to make some weights. I've been using these milk bottles, a couple of those, but I thought no. Now I'm going to fill them up with stones. Whilst on my way to a little patch where I think there'll be quite a few stones there, I'm going to give you an English phrase, being thrown the cold shoulder. So that's when someone rejects you. And that's a rejection in a romantic way, you know, if you fantasy someone. Uh, and that's another phrase as well. You may know that if you fancy someone or someone has your fancy, you find them attractive. I was throwing a cold shoulder. The cold shoulder already. C'est la vie. It happens. Onwards and upwards. That's another phrase. Keep moving forward. It's really hot today. The sun is out and I have put no sun cream on. Again, you know, I always remember to do things after I've left the house, it's no good, but we're almost there to get the stones. Lovely view here that I'm looking at, I'm going to switch it around so you can see. There you go, lovely day. That thing over there looks like the Christ in uh, Rio. Okay, there is, as close as I can get to it, zoomed in on my phone. And I have to apologize for not remembering the name in Portuguese. But you know the one I mean. Christ with his Christ with his hands out. Or Christ giving it large. Hands stretched. Welcoming, right? Welcoming whoever wants to believe in, in that stuff. Uh, let's go and get some stuff. So we're at the place where I, I thought that I could find some stones. It's around here. So a little bit of, you 
you know, foliage, stones in there, but it's not going to be as easy. Here's a phrase for you. I'm going to have to knock this idea on the head, which means just not do it. Because, if you can see this, round, these are the stones, there's some stones, but look at what I've got to get in. It's a little hole. It's just not feasible, because it's going to take me a long time to fill up, find stones that can fit in the milk bottle, and then it's going to take a while. Time consuming, you know, and time is precious, right? So, it's over. Okay, guys and girls, this is the challenge, the task for you. How can I solve this problem? Apart from actually going and buying some weights, which I don't really want to do because there's always better ways to get what you want for less, right? If you enjoy drinking alcohol, then Lisbon's a great place to come to because it's so cheap. Look at this. We're having a churrasco barbecue tonight. I'm going to get some of these Spumanti Dulce. 189 that's about one pound 60. that is terrific value look at this get the whole thing 10 pounds that is going in the basket i don't even know what it is but it looks like carver so 9.5 percent volume so that's fairly decent it's not too much not too strong it is just a barbecue so i don't want to overload it uh, let's hope i like it you see, it's not all bad. Got some plums in there as well. It's not the cheapest though, can you believe? Let me show you this Vino Branco Reg Tejo. Just 139 euros, that's about one pound 20. But I'm not gonna stoop to those levels. I have my standard. Look what I found, my Brazilian friends. 51, cachaça. Haven't seen this bad boy for a little while. This tastes quite quite disgusting but add a some lime another great thing about portugal are these scooters and these are sharing scooters and anyone can just uh zap this and pay i don't know it's really cheap for each minute and i thought that these would be an ideal um way to get to a beach because i need to get to a beach to get sand to fill up those milk bottles with. Thank you, those that suggested that. I'd I've got back home and the the door is locked. So I've messaged Pedro, who I live with. Hopefully he'll be back. Well, hopefully he's in. I saw him earlier, so he should be in to let me in. Otherwise, I'm stuck here. We are having a churrasco now. It started a little while ago. I have to go and join them. But I fancied a little a change, so I've had a trim. And having a trim is when you, you shave a little bit, not off, a little trim. This is the churrasco, going well. Oi! Tudo bem? Right, I'm doing a barbecue for the first time ever. And uh, I want to know how to spark up, spark up a bit. Without gasoline. <laughs> so what's happened here is this is locked from in from inside, and there's a key in there, but we can't get it out. So someone's locked it from inside. So that. Doesn't go that side, doesn't go that side because this is locked. Unless you can take this out, but I have no idea how to take this out. Oh, there's a grande na quinteleira, tem um grande no Colombo. Colombo, Colombo me falaram que é Colombo. Ah, é. Colombo